kind of just get out, getting out and running and moving the ball. Um, we're dropping like flies a little bit right now, and it's just kind of that next man up mentality. Um, credit everyone that came in and played tonight. Um, you know, they came in ready and played well, and, and we moved the ball, hit shots, and um, for the most part, played um, some solid defense. We, we gave up, I think there was eight straight possessions down the stretch where we gave up some buckets, but you know, that'll happen. We. Yeah, TJ, can you take us through that that three in the corner? Were you expecting the pass from Justin there? And uh, were you trying to rush the shot to get it off before the shot clock at all? Yeah. Um, you know, it was just kind of one of those plays where I was wide open in the corner and uh, Justin made the right pass. So um, credit to him. And, you know, I've, I've got to shoot a little bit more of those, um, keep the defense honest. But, uh, you know, credit to Justin for, you know, finding me. Tony East. TJ, two things about that shot. One, I feel like I see you working on corner threes quite a bit before games. How did it feel for you to hit a shot that I feel like you work on very often? And two, you had uh, some words for the Timberwolves bench after hitting that one. Was that just a passionate moment for you? And what did you say to those guys? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm working on my three a lot from from uh, from every spot, but especially from the corner. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, it was just one of those passionate moments where, you know, where they kind of said something and it was all, it's all joking around and I just joked back. So that's really all it was. Pat. I'm sure there were moments, especially on the defensive end, where you would have liked to close out better. But this team in general has had some struggles closing out. Why do you feel like at least the offense was able um, to boo you guys tonight and score enough? Um... You know, we, we just moved the ball. You know, we kind of, we didn't stand and, and just pass it around. We, you know, they went zone and we attacked gaps and, and just made the right pass and the right read. Um, and, and we were making a lot of shots tonight. So um, it's really all it is. You know, we got the ball out on makes and misses and got out and ran. And, um, you know, that's big. Uh, you know, I say this all the time. When we get out and run, especially when we get stops, we're very dangerous. Any other questions for TJ? Yeah, one quick thing Wes can ask TJ. TJ, was this the most uh, your number was called in, in terms of, you know, when you guys even were in half-court sets and weren't running, that looked like that you were, you know, let's give it to TJ and isolate this matchup. He's going to beat it, and we're going to play off of that. Is that – it seems like you guys did that more, and obviously because of the, the pieces you didn't have obviously affect that. But have you kind of been in that position before where you were called on this much to carry so much in the offensive load in terms of creating? Rarely, um, but, you know, I appreciate coach believing in me. Um, you have no idea that, what that does for a player's confidence, and, you know, I, I really appreciate that. So, um, you know, but for me, I feel like whenever my number's called, I try to stay ready no matter what and um, get our team the best shot available, and that's what I tried to do. And, you know, credit my teammates for making shots and, and making the right plays and, and, and doing it on both ends as well.